So, what's up, YouTube? I'm just coming to you guys today with a video on plucking, and we're gonna hop right into it. I know my intro video was real dry, but we're gonna work on that. And um, so, you're just gonna start off by hot combing the unit back, and once we get done hot combing that back, we're going to hop over to um, hop over to our plucking process. Okay, so now we're gonna hop right into it. You see me zooming in on the hairline. You know, just running my hands back. And you're gonna, I'm gonna start right here in the temples because typically this is the um, thinner areas and I do this technique called windowing. And what I do is I will pluck going further into the hairline, starting from the front and working my way to the back. I will pluck a window and it's in the shape of a triangle. And I will do that multiple times across the hairline. I believe I'm going to do it like four times here so you can guys to see the window. But if you see where that peak is right there, like that peak going into the hairline, that's what you're going to need. And we're going to do like three or four of those for right now. But we are going to go across, eventually go across the entire hairline with those. And um, you're going to need you a good set of tweezers, by the way, because you know your tweezers are important. So you're just going to see me do that plucking. And after we've done three or four of those, we are gonna turn around and go in between those windows and thin it out. And there's really no technique as far as it goes, as we come with, um, as far as the actual process of thinning it out goes, you're just gonna see me go in between that window and I'm just gonna like randomly pluck little pieces away from the hairline. Don't pluck too much or don't pluck too hard because you don't wanna thin or ball the hairline. But however, I am going for an Eddie Monster look what I was on. Or widow's peak blue as I was doing this one but you should see the difference like kind of like instantly but yeah so you know the hairline has a gradual line of um do, 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 do my, uh, demarcation <laughs> yeah like where it starts it's a little bit thin and had like that line of plucking in behind it so yeah you're just gonna do that you're gonna pluck your windows and then you're gonna go in between your windows and clean them up so yeah, I was just showing you the difference. I'm just showing you the difference. And right here, again, I told you guys, like there's gonna be that line of where the hair gets really thick back there. Um, some weeds do it more, some weeds don't. Also, this is a unit provided by me as well. But back to the point, I, you see how I parted it? Because that's the hairline that I was going for. You know, some of y'all might go straight across, some of y'all might not. But I plucked out that little like semicircle because I was doing a um widow's peak. But I wanna we're gonna go back in this area and we're just gonna thin it out. So just gonna go across, you know, plucking in a backward motion, you know, just trying to thin it out right there and the, right there. That way we don't have that huge line of light where it just gets thick. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and then we're just gonna comb that back and that should really do it for you. And so I'm just going to um, let the reel play for the next few minutes just so you guys can get an idea of what I'm doing. And I'm going to do the other side too. I just want you guys to like watch and learn. But all in all, as I was saying, the technique is called windowing. It's what I call it, windowing. And you're going to you know, plug your windows and then you're going to come in between those windows to get a more natural thin look so you don't see those little triangles, you know. So you're just going to splice, splice through the hairline really. And I know like right here, you see like a little bit of like um, over bleaching right there, what the blonde is. If it was bigger, I would've went back and rooted it, but I didn't because it's for the fact that it was at the front of the hairline, it wasn't really that bad. And it's always good to get a little bleach on the um, roots on the hair in my opinion. But I know most of it was gonna get plucked away. So it's just the repeating process again. You're just gonna do your windows, then out. Call me back, do your windows, then out, you know what I'm saying? And then you just keep repeating this process until you get a hairline of your liking. And woo, I just want y'all to look at that nice new hairline, like, period. <laughs> so really, you're just gonna, like I told you, you're gonna continue that process. And even if you wanna make the windows get smaller and smaller and smaller, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, just come in between and touch up certain areas if you feel like the line isn't gradual enough. And I, as I say, you will get better with time. Like, you will get better with time. But, you know, the goal is to have something natural and realistic. Every client does not have thin edges. Some people actually have thicker hairlines. So keep that in mind as well. I still keep the same technique. 
but just keep that in mind as well. You know, everybody don't have the thinner hairline. And, you know, the thinner the frontal, the more likely it's to shed. Even though this isn't as thin as a lot of um, as a lot of people do. Like, I'm not a fan of the, the thin hairline. That's just not my thing. So, I'm just letting you guys see that. And I'm going to show you the comparison side, I believe. So, that's the hairline. And, again, y'all, I'm going for the Eddie Monster look. So, I'm just going to, you're going to see me pluck out, like, where a baby hair will fall, I guess you say, to give me that look where I have to thin out some more just so I can have that widow's peak. And, um, yeah, so the part that I pulled out, I think I'm going to pluck that a little bit more. <laughs> I know I keep saying thick, y'all, because I'm watching this video again. As y'all are watching it, and I watched it multiple times, but I can't remember it the same time. That was short time memory loss. But, yeah, so you're just going to see me do that, and I'm just going to pluck behind that as well so like when i part the baby hair the widow's peak is defined and yeah i'm just going to repeat the process that i just showed you guys i'm going to repeat that on the other side Yeah, I'm just now I'm just um, watching my progress, you know, just trying to see Gabby when I do the baby hair and you know, all that good stuff. Because my client, again, I told y'all she has a widow's peak and I want to mimic that as much as possible. And I feel like that just gives me a really cute look. But yeah, so you're just going to see me doing that. And I'm just looking at the hairline perfect. And, you know, I just thinned out those baby hairs because I don't like thick, thick baby hairs around the widow's peak. But um, you guys are going to see me turn the mannequin head again. And what I'm going to be doing is just showing you guys the process all over again. I'm probably just going to play a little music in the background. You know, some of y'all just like watch and learn. But, and I know it seems like I'm repetitive of myself. But like I've said, you know, you're just going to go back and forth. Check the hairline. See that you have the results you want. You know what I'm saying? And that's the hairline right there. And that is, and then you're going to see me turn it to the other side, which is basically the unplugged side. I believe I didn't do nothing to it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't do nothing to this off. So, yeah, that's just, like, good bleaching right there that you guys see. And I can do a video on bleaching, but I am offering more webinars on my website to see some of my tricks and hacks and stuff like that. This one's just a freebie that I feel like you guys were very well deserving of. But, <laughs> but yeah, so we are doing that. And once we get done customizing that side, we're going to go over to... You know, laying the hairline down and pulling out those baby hairs and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? And coming through it with the hot comb. Now, all I did with this unit was, I'm sorry, I hear that clicking. But now I'm just showing you guys after I parted out the baby hairs because my camera died um, in the process and I didn't know. But I'm just parting out the baby hairs and you're just going to see me hot combing them down where you don't do this on your client's head. I would personally never do it on my client's head. Um, some people feel steady handed enough to do it, but I'd be pressing against the lace, so that's not going to work. But yeah, so I'm just, um, you know, part of the middle part and I'm just going to go through that and get it as flat as possible. I like to use Got City Spray or Spritz up across the hairline. Or sometimes the wax sticks work, but I prefer like the spritz that got to be because it does give it a nice hole and it's not greasy like the wax stick. Even though I really have a problem with wax stick, but there's just some people who do prefer it's greasy. If you prefer a wax stick, use a wax stick. And really, that's um, 
that's how we get that look like that's it that's all so you guys can watch the next few seconds or minute of this video and truly we are done okay so now i'm just going to be showing you guys how i'm going to be plucking the middle part i typically use my tweezers to help get the straightness out the way you know like straightening the part up and if you look closely enough i know you guys know how lace look it's typically like a little grid that you see um this unit right here in particular i couldn't just do it like i wanted to just for the simple fact that the knots were so small and randomly placed that it wasn't really a what's it called like a just like a straight line to go into so i just got it as straight as i could and i plucked them sometimes i'll pull a few out with my hands you know without ripping the lace of course and sometimes I just, you know, pluck it out. And I know, like, my hands in the way on certain parts of the video, but you'll slowly see it come together. And I just start from the front of the hairline and work my way back. And then to help straighten it out, I always use, like, probably a little black spray at the end. Sometimes, you know, to take a gift.